So accidentally losing photos or videos sucks so badly. Maybe you just accidentally deleted those files off an SD card or USB, or maybe you thought you'd backed them up and then you formatted the SD card or the USB, and then turns out you hadn't backed them up. Or maybe it was just something else entirely. Whatever it was, don't panic just yet because there is still hope. So today we're going to be going through how to recover lost photos or videos that you've accidentally deleted off a USB or an SD card. So let's get into it. Actually, just before we get started, it is critical that as soon as you realize that you've accidentally deleted those files and that you can't get them back, that you stop using the SD card or USB that you deleted them from. If you continue to keep using them, then you can overwrite the files that we accidentally deleted and then they're gone forever. All right, so what we're gonna be using to recover these files is a program called PhotoRec. So visit the link in the video description to download it. PhotoRec actually comes bundled with a second program called TestDisk and although that's also very good at recovering deleted files, we're not gonna be using TestDisk today. So extract the file that we've downloaded and now make sure that you plug in the SD card or the USB that you want to recover files from and then just open up the folder that we extracted and inside there'll be a program called QPhotoRec and that's the one we want to open up. Now this might look a little daunting at first, there's quite a lot going on but it's alright, we're going to work through it. So the first thing we're going to do is choose out our USB or our SD card from the drop down menu in the top left. If you're not sure, you just want to find the one that's the correct size and then just double check by making sure that the label is correct. So now in the bottom left, we're going to be able to pick out our file system type. So you shouldn't really need to change this. A USB or an SD card is pretty much always formatted in FAT32. However, if you're certain that you've maybe reformatted it to an EXT file format, then you can select that option instead. Otherwise, you shouldn't need to touch this. So now over to the other side, we can choose to either scan just the free space on the disk or the whole disk. So I recommend choosing whole just so that we don't miss anything. And now we just need to choose where we want PhotoRec to put the files that it finds when it's recovered them. So now once you've got all that stuff sorted out, you can just hit the search button down the bottom and then just sit tight as PhotoRec starts scanning through our device. Now this scanning can take a long time, depending on just things like how big the device we're scanning through is, and also just on how fast our computer is. So it might be a good idea to set this up and get it running, and then maybe go off for a few minutes and come back. And now if we visit the recovery directory that I chose, we might see something a little strange. So even though we only deleted one photo at the very of uh, this video, PhotoRex actually recovered a whole load of files and it stuck them all into this folder. So what's going on? Well, PhotoRex not only found the file that I've just deleted at the start of this video, but it's also found even older files that have been deleted way before this video. It's found all of those and it's recovered them and stuck those into this folder as well. So now looking through all these files that PhotoRex recovered, I can see that it's actually found that photo I deleted, the one that I was after. So what I'm actually going to do is open up PhotoRec and I'm going to cancel this scan. I've already found the file I was after, so I'm not going to bother scanning through the rest of the disk. I'm just going to cancel it here. And there you go. We recovered those photos that we deleted at the start of this video. And if you've been following along as well, I hope that you've had some success as well. Hopefully you've recovered the files that you're after. And now would probably be a good idea to maybe back them up once or twice or three or four times even, just to keep them safe. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'd also love it if you could check me out on social media. You can check out my Instagram account where I like to post photos that I've taken recently. And also, if you have any questions or maybe even suggestions for some future videos, I'd also love it if you could leave those in the comments section. Apart from that though, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.